My name is Daniel Garang. I'm a journalist working for the radio community. And as I shared with you earlier on that, we have this program called the Voice of Peace program. It is a radio program that is broadcast on the radio community, radio stations across the country. And in this program, we normally bring in the members of the public and civil society activists, uh, government officials, to interact together with the civil population at the grassroots in issues related to constitutional process and the democratic uh, dispensation also that is about to actually happen and in this light we normally bring in different topics of which today we will be looking at the uh, civic education on elections what the citizens are supposed to know exactly about the election if the election is to take place next year as anticipated and uh, this program welcome to the voice of this program sir thank you very much uh, mr garang um, I'm by the name's advocate Abiyari Lawrence, uh, working here for Alliance for Justice Legal Consultants, located here in Gudele 2, PT Oil, Honda House. Uh, it's my pleasure to be hosted on this uh, radio station on, on this very day, uh, based on a very important uh, topic of discussion which concerns the nation, uh, because this is the road to our freedom. This is the road to a major decision, a decision that impacts not only on our lives, but also on the lives of the new generation to come. Uh, because this is the first time for us to, this is the second time after the referendum, and it is very important for some people who never participated in election during the referendum to participate now when they are very much aware of what they are supposed to be done what is supposed to be done and what is their roles in that. Uh, thank you very much. I think this is my brief introduction. Yeah, thank you. And having introduced that very well, that it is very important for them to know this, maybe you can briefly uh, explain what civic education means when we talk of civic education. There are so many educations. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Garang, once again. Uh, it is important for us to know uh, from the word go, the definition. Uh, someone will hear the word civic and you don't know what does it mean. Uh, basically, civic education uh, deals in uh, educating the citizen on their citizenry rights. Uh, what is their obligation to their nation and what they are supposed to get from the nation. So when uh, they are to be educated, from uh, the elites so that is when we come up with uh, the definition of citizen as uh, of civic education uh, the, the process of educating the citizens that is the definition and there are three uh, components of, of uh, civic education that is knowledge uh, value and the behavior so our the citizens are supposed to be educated based on these uh, three components and uh, in the types, we have uh, the formal civic education, uh, we have uh, the informal civic education, we have exper experimental uh, civic education, and uh, thirdly, we also have comparative civic education, and uh, maybe another one can be the value-based civic education. Mm -hmm. And in this light now that we are talking about the election that is to take place next year as anticipated, what is the necessary thing that citizens are supposed to know in regard to elections? Very good. Uh, the citizens are supposed to know that election is a constitutional right. Uh, it is the right of every citizen to choose their leaders. Uh, most of the times, we citizens look at Okuma as just Okuma as if it is uh, a different entity from uh, human. Okuma, which is in English, government, it is defined as it is the people, by the people, for the people. So Okuma are the people who are the citizen. They are chosen by the people and also to work for the people. And this is what we come up as Okuma. So in the election, 
uh, citizens need to know that it is their right now to choose the people who are the Okuma. It is their right to decide that this is the capable person to lead us for the next five years. So it is their right which is supposed to be exercised freely with the free will. No. What is their role and what it takes for them to go for election? What do, what do they really need to know in regards to elections? As I have explained, uh, citizenry and uh, in regards to civic education, uh, it is important that the purpose for civic education, which can also be uh, termed as uh, citizen education, uh, the purpose is to have an informed citizen of the national uh, governance. Uh, citizens need to know what they are supposed to do, which is called the pre-preparation for election and also post-election. You need to prepare yourself for election and also prepare yourself for after election. Uh, because when we talk about preparing yourself for election, you need to know what is needful of you as a citizen. One, you need to know the kind of leaders that uh, are coming up to aspire for leadership, whom you are going to choose. Uh, when people go for uh, education with their colleagues, or when someone is in a society living among the people, it is the role of the people to study the behavior, the lifestyle of that person. That is when people can easily say this person will either become a good leader or a bad leader. Because the character you grow up with continues to follow you. And then that will be what will term you as a good leader or not. And then it is becomes the role of the citizen to only know that electing this leader will bring an impact and a change into the society. So citizens need to be told that whoever that they are living with in their community will one day come to buy a box to be chosen by them. And then the, the decision that they do is a decision that is going to impact on that society for that period of time that is prescribed within the, 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 the years that have been given for the serving of the tenure. So uh, citizens need to be ready and they should know that they have the right to choose the leader of their choice. But the right to choose the leader of their choice should be entailed with a different moral aspect of life that they have seen from this person here. So citizens must be educated on how to choose and how to, to, to assess a leader capability. We have election coming up in 2024. And the election that is coming up in 2024 we must know that it is time for us to make a major decision. A decision whereby we are going to choose a leader, a leader of character, a leader of moral value, who will preserve our cultures, who will unite us as South Sudanese, who will enable us to live in a peaceful society who will unite us with a common identity as South Sudanese. And in line with this, what qualify them as citizens? Choose the leader that their choice really wants. They are citizens and friends of our citizens. You need to know that uh, to qualify as a citizen, you must be a citizen by birth. If you are born in uh, South Sudan, you are already a citizen. Even if you came from Uganda and they produced here, you are a citizen of here by birth. Then there is a citizenship by naturalization. Uh, if you come to South Sudan, according to our laws of uh, migration, you follow the procedures, the years it is supposed to be taken for you to stay here when you're paying the, vis the, the, the visa, up to a certain period of time and you qualify according to the stipulation, you, are, you will be capable to apply for citizenship and you will acquire the citizenship by registration. So uh, when we talk about citizens, 
they are all within what I have explained. And these are the people who are eligible to choose their leader within the country. Apart from citizenship, yeah, somebody might have a nationality or might have acquired what it takes for him or her to be a citizen. What other thing is necessary for them to know? What is necessary for citizens to know is one, uh, you need to know that uh, the citizenship that you acquire, it is recognized because mostly the, uh, the qualification for voters always, they ask, do you have a national ID? Do you have a uh, voter's registration card? Because when time for election comes, you will be informed by the local authorities within your jurisdiction on how to register so that when the date reaches, you will be in position to be a registered voter to go and cast the ballot. But if you don't register, then that means you are freely losing your right. The right which we said it is the right of the citizen to vote and to be voted for. Because if you have also, uh, if you have also aspiration to become a leader and you meet the criteria, then you also go and pick a nomination form to become a leader of that uh, time. Then you have the right to also vote, to vote for yourself. You start by voting for yourself and you vote for the other leaders. Of course, it is a general election which involves from the top position, that is the president, up to the, 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 the last decision, uh, uh, position according to how uh, the electoral body will bring it out to us. And uh, this civic education is basically from us, we the citizen, the land citizen. But uh, the voters' education shall be given by the electoral bodies who are responsible for the election to give the citizen the formalities, the techniques to use. For me as a citizen, I will not tell you, as a, a person who is giving you civic education, I will not tell you to take like this or that. It is the electoral body that are responsible for that, and that is why the citizen need to be informed. Media is a very strong, uh, uh, it's a very strong element of information. Once you are not informed, you will not know what to do. Even the right we are talking about, that you, it, you have the right to vote and to be voted for. You will lose it if you are not informed in the media. Mm -hmm. So that is why uh, citizens need to take media very important. The local radio stations we have so that they can always be informed accordingly. Yeah, and now that all these are taken as concerns, as a law practitioner and as a member of civil society, do you think the country is prepared with this process, actually? Do you think the country is prepared to go for election next year? From uh, the word go, a human being must be ready. But as a country, this is uh, the government which is bringing on different parties in a compromised peace agreement to take us in a transitional period. We cannot keep on extending transitional period for five, 10, 20 years. We need to have a time to decide. And so far we are moving well, because if we have reached a compromised peace agreement and people, the warring parties, all of them, most of them have come to join the unity government. So I see our collective effort from the community to the government, we shall make it. Are you saying that since the peace agreement was actually compromised to, to bring us together, you think that election should be also compromised and go for election like that? Election shall not be compromised. We are looking at a point of the citizen to come up to choose the leader they deserve to lead them. It is not a compromise. It is every citizen's right to vote mm. and to choose a leader. It is time for us to know and accept, you know, what we call peace. Peace comes from we, the citizen. If you see your brother as a human mm -hmm. and your brother sees you as a human, he will not turn against you. He will have you closer to him for the common goal 
of moving together. So that is why once we accept that we have accepted the peace in our heart, peace for our country, it is time for us to choose a leader, no matter the circumstance that surrounds the situation. Of course, not everybody will accept peace in his heart, but we are hoping as Christians and believers, if Muslims, Christians, and any other church, they are all believers. If they believe in the moral concept of life, that we really need peace in order to coexist, then certain aspect will be understood. And to make this topic short like this, much as uh, civic education on election is concerns to the citizens, what will you give them as an advice? The viewers, the listeners, the citizen, as an advice towards uh, civic education in regards to election is, uh, as I said before, election is a process. It is not just an event. It is a process that starts from way back, analyzing the people of the community, knowing who is the leader aspiring, and then when you go and choose, you choose knowingly that the leader you're choosing is the leader that is going to serve the interests of your people. Don't be intimidated, don't be deceived to choose a wrong leader. Because once you choose a wrong leader, it will affect you. Just like uh, a simple history, story I will tell you, that uh, uh, one time, uh, this young man died and went to heaven. They told him, you have a choice to make, to either go to heaven or to go to hell. He said, okay, they said, we are taking you first to hell, to see hell, how it is. It was now campaign between heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. They took this young man to hell. He went there and he saw the big man who died and was eating a lot of money. They were enjoying and were jubilating. Ah, life was very okay, beyond pyramid and beyond Radisson. Sure. So uh, this young man, they said, now let us take you to heaven. They took him to heaven. He went and he saw the angels just flying, singing gospel songs. He saw this thing was very boring to him. When they came the next day to ask him, now decide where you're going. He said, no, I used to hear that hell is fire and suffering, but what I saw, no, no, no. It's better let me choose uh, hell. hell. When he went to hell, on reaching the gates of hell, he saw Satan tied in the devilish regalia, the, 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 the fire is there burning other people and the things were tough. He said, excuse me, sir, uh, is this place hell? He said, yes. He said, ah, but this is not the place I saw yesterday. He said, hey, you don't know. Yesterday we were for campaign. So in the campaign you make sure that your place look very beautiful for someone who does not know your character. Because by the time they see election is done like this, now that's when they see you in your real attire, in your real color. So that is why we also need to know that choosing a leader does not mean you just see how they have modified the building now. You follow it from beginning, the kind of leader you're choosing. That is what I would advise my, my people, my citizen, to take very carefully and serious. Because you don't need to come like from a dream to choose anybody. You need to choose someone of moral character, moral value, who have the, the heart of unity. Unity within a family, community, society, and the country at large. So that is when we shall have the election that we shall not regret the leaders we have chosen. What we really say is that thank you so much for giving us your time, and thank you for talking to us, thank you for talking on these programs, and thank you for supporting this program, thank you for educating the citizen also on these programs and our dear listeners, thank you and you have also had what you need as a citizen to, to actually have your own leader that will serve you tomorrow. You also had what it did take for you to be able to qualify to vote for elections. That you don't need to be paused 
to choose somebody and you also need to have the document that are necessary for you to be a somebody who is qualified to go for election of which one of those qualifications is that you must have the national ID and you should be a citizen by birth, you should also be a citizen by nationality. And those are some of the few things that you really need to have among many other things that you need to have as a citizen in order to qualify for the next year's election and please be informed. Keep following us for more updates on South Sudan elections and the implementation of the revised peace agreements and the constitution making process. Thank you so much.